artist Siggy. Just following on on update 20, uh, a few more observations. Um, let me go back onto the onto my own uh, faction base. Oh, wrong, my own base, personal base and faction base. Let's get it right. Um, you'll notice that along the back here, the waterfall end, as we call it. Uh, we've now lost faction HQ. That is in a faction base. I'll just click back on here. This is a seamless thing, actually. I quite like it. Incidentally, my videos are rendering now because I've changed the settings and all sorts of jiggery pokery. I don't really understand, but there we go. Um, so that's where our faction headquarters is now. Um, what else has changed just on the, the normal look of the game? There's a couple of items that have moved about. Um, if you recall, this um, fusion center was over here. I don't think it, it doesn't really change the game at all. You can't unlock that. Um, if we come over as well, it appears that our military council has shrunk. And where I've got these Air Force Academies, it looks like there's extra space here. However, you can't actually move them further back. Um, so we're not losing anything, um, despite what people perceive. Um, the, the limit of um, effect for these units hasn't changed. But I think it's just to give it a, look, a little bit more clarity. So we will see bases more like our faction base, where you've got things spread out. I don't know if it's a good thing. You let me know in the in the comments. Um, okay, we're going to go back down to our faction base. Um, there we go. We're made up into a number of sectors, and each sector has various uh, protection areas. We've got a, a base turret for defense. Most of these are what you start with. Um, if you notice an item that's slightly bigger, click on this one, you can see it's a player defense turret. A faction member has purchased this. Um, and it's up to them to upgrade it. I can move it. Um, as an officer or any officers can but it's up to the player to update it who's that one oh. now again I think these are just inclusive names um, on our command centre um, one of the good things about this, although it is a bit of a pain in the backside, is when you upgrade, it takes a, a discrete or a, a set amount of time. And you can't buy your way to upgrade it faster. In the past, we've had people, um, whether they're actual hackers, they've found a way around things or whatever, but they have loads and loads of gold stars. Um, and, and, and they level up faster just because they've got the money. This makes it a little bit more of a level playing field. Um, the requirements here is it takes 12 hours to upgrade. And it shows you what you can get on the next unlocks. So we're currently at level 2 on our command centre. Um, the way you actually expand area now, you don't buy it. What you do is you fight for an area... For example, this one here, Sector Alpha Zero One. Um, the guys in the faction have been fighting this this morning. Um, they've got very little health left. But once we've killed the KRA, or destroyed the KRA forces, we take the sector. When you get the sector, um, you get a place like this with... Uh, the power node 
basically it gives the power for everything on there if the power node is um, destroyed as it said all the buildings will be demolished I'm not sure yet whether they disappear totally from view or they um, just need rebuilding I, I'm not sure that remains to be seen again when you're actually going through this we've bought uh, here we've bought a level one power-up workshop again something else that's mm, yeah I like it is the fact that if I go into the shop now and say I want to build um, a factonite or factonite factonite yeah factonite gainer it basically says oh it is letting me know it did say before that because I was um, already had a building going oh there we go I was right to change the sig but because another building is under construction we can't build any more again to me that helps us because we're all building at the same sort of time um, what else have we got in here you've got a war factory that uh, produces units for your wars um, and you can either show the stats of these or uh, the pictorial style of it so these are my units that I've got oh, I've got 20 of those in my war factory um, and what you can do is you can look at whether they're a knife gun grenade or uh, the multi-attack thing again a lot of these they depend before you can get them obviously you've got to upgrade your your war factory and different things um, in my stash you will note that so many of these units have changed in value um, the book the book RL at level 2 I can't remember what it was at level 2 but certainly at level 1 it was 200 and 500 defence now that's dropped down significantly to 220 attack and 120 defence for the level 2 but hey ho um, and this is just the actual facility that we were looking at there the actual war factory these breach the bases um, when I said about units changing just give me one second something that I thought was quite surprising is uh, where can I look at this now we don't have a settings as such no no Oh, incidentally, on the comms tab now, everything that's been happening on the, the faction base is shown in here. You know, Kimmy upgraded her turret, um, I conquered Sector Alpha 2, etc, etc. And it sees, you know, you can see, certainly from a general's point of view, who's spending the money. I don't mean real money, but certainly the, the fact tonight. Um, to see what we're doing. Ah, oh, I didn't see this yesterday. Repel. Ah, these are the equivalent of our battles. And what we've done is we've repelled different uh, attacks. Command. That's, in, that's blank still. You'll have to forgive me the way I'm talking because I'm full of cold. The beauty of UK weather, I'm told. Uh, by Monday, I shall be living in Spain. Viva España. Right. Um, that's it for the time being. Um, as I get my head round more of the features, I will uh, I'll report back to you guys. Um, as we know, this is only out on iOS and Android at the moment. It's yet to come to Windows. I suppose that's when we'll 
will learn properly. Um, not that the Windows players are any better than Android or iOS players, it's just that I tend not to chat too much on main on Android, but I chat a significant amount on Windows chat. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, for watching, thanks for listening, and I'll see you.